Hi all, welcome back to the chat with C update. I think this is week two. Um, I want to start off by sharing uh, just a little iceberg really. Uh, something that I've discovered this week. What can I do in 15 minutes? Um, so I've discovered that these are kind of adult practical things. So if you're going to have a go at this, maybe be a bit more creative. Um, but I can do uh, my washing, hang out my washing in 15 minutes. I can empty and restack the dishwasher in 15 minutes. I can also hoover the stairs in 15 minutes. Um, so these are things I've discovered this week. Uh, maybe that's 15 minutes before uh, your dinner's ready. Maybe you could use this time to help out your parents um, or just think, what can I do in a really short amount of time? Um, just help us to uh, stay active and to enjoy this time of lockdown. So that's kind of my little uh, starter, really. Um, I want us to kind of think a little bit about, um, as we're getting closer and closer to Holy Week and to Easter, um, just think a bit about what is going on in our Gospel readings in the Bible. Um, each day, the Church gives us uh, Gospel readings, and at the moment, um, they are from St John's Gospel. And St John's, John's Gospel is a great read, um, if you get a chance to um, have a really good uh, kind of look at it, really. Um, we're at the point where um, Jesus is getting quite serious um, because he is getting closer and closer to um, when he's going to be killed, to, to die on the cross, um, and um, he is about to be arrested as well, and it's quite, um, probably quite a, a nerve-wracking time for him. Um, and during uh, these pieces of scripture from St John, uh, Jesus is kind of in a dialogue with the Jews, um, trying to explain a bit further about who he is, because um, they're really just not understanding. And in today's Gospel, um, it's from John 10, um, Jesus says to the Jews, he says, um, Even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do, then you will know for sure that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. And the line I want us to kind of think about a bit further is this, when he says, at least believe in the work I do. So many people in our world don't necessarily believe in, in God, um, but we all still believe in doing good things. Um, as human beings, we instinctively um, want to help and to care for others. And we all often congratulate um, good, good acts of service and good works and good actions. Um, and so when we see others doing something good um, or helping others, um, whether they're a Christian or not, um, we see this as a good thing. But us being part of a, a faith community, um, Christian community as part of SPH, um, we can have that chance, we have that chance to believe that Jesus is actually within us through the Holy Spirit. And so when we see these good actions, we are um, ultimately seeing Jesus in those other people, in those good actions that they have done. Um, so therefore, with our good actions, people may hopefully come to believe in Jesus. So this uh, leads me on to uh, my prayer tip for this week, really. Um, good actions can come big or small, um, and a small good action that we can be doing during this time is, is to simply pray. So something I've started doing recently is at 11 o'clock in the morning, um, I just stop, um, sit down, and I just think about all these different communities that I am part of. Um, so that's the school community, my church community. Um, and I sit and I just think about them and I just pray in our Father. It only takes about a minute, it's not very long. So maybe you'd like to have a go at doing this as well. Um, don't worry if you don't get to do it every day. Um, but just hopefully, if you can do it at 11 o'clock, that'd be great. But at just some point during the day, just stop and think about our school community, your friends, uh, your teachers, those who you are in classes with, um, and just simply pray in our Father uh, for them. It's as simple as that. Um, it's really, really easy. So that is it for uh, this week's video. Um, thank you for joining us, and uh, join us again next week. Keep safe and well. God bless.